Hello and welcome back. This is video number six and we are going to talk about creating LSI content or keyword and search engine friendly content. So a site without content is nothing. So we talked about site structure in the previous video. We're going to talk about filling it in with content. So the big question is how should you write your articles or blog content to ensure that it is SEO optimized or search engine friendly? So it's going to actually be super easy to do, but what we're going to do is we're going to take the list of keywords that you got from earlier and let me show you how easy this is. So before we can create the content, I want to show you a specific method to create the content structure. So if you think about it, we're focusing a lot on structure because once you create the structure, filling in the structure is actually very, very quick and easy. So same thing here, finding the titles is, as I stated earlier in the video where we talked about the Google keywords, suggested keywords, what we need to do is up at the top, I'm going to type in how to find a roof leak. So before we can talk about how to repair a roof leak, we need to find the roof leak. So I'm essentially helping the buyer progress through finding it, repairing it, and maybe I sell some sort of product that is related to roof leaks, but I have to get them to the buying point and the trust part before I can actually sell to them, right? So how to find a roof leak could be our title. And let me just open up notepad here and enter that here. So that could be our title. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the searches related to how to find a roof leak. So if we take a look at the keywords here and we're going to highlight it and copy, and then I'm going to go ahead and copy it over to notepad here. So if you copy it, we can see it's all here. So it says how to find a roof leak on a flat roof. We've got mobile home. How to find a roof leak with no attic from the outside on a tile roof on a RV and of course how to stop it. So of course that is actually the progression. So finding it first is crucial and then stopping it could be the call to action. So the question is, how do you want to get people from one step to the next step, right? So once you find the roof leak, you want to stop it. How do you go about stopping it? So the call to action could redirect people from this state of mind to how to stop it. Of course, how to find it, we could, these could be our bullet points right here because these are different scenarios. And we know down here that these are highly searched because they appear down here. And all we need to do now is create an article about how to find a roof leak. Now, if you want to get really, really specific, you could use all of these and turn these into titles. Now, you could create this as one article. So a general how to find a roof leak. Or you can also use one of these, such as how to find a roof leak in a mobile home. So obviously these are different scenarios and different scenarios. If you have a specific article for these scenarios, uh, you will essentially be talking directly to that person. So how to find a roof leak in a mobile home. You could actually copy this whole thing and you could go to the Google Keyword Planner tool. If you don't know how to get there, you can go to Google and you can type in Google Keyword Planner, as you can see here. So we're going to sign in. And all you need to do is go to the search for new keywords using a phrase because we got a phrase. Click that, enter the phrase in here. You can also enter a landing page, but we're not really doing any of that right now. We're going to go ahead and you can select category if you would like to. 
But all we have to do in this case is do that. And typically I leave these blank and see what I get. And I don't, if I don't get a lot, then I'll go back over here. But we're going to go ahead and click get ideas. And Google AdWords is now doing a search for this particular phrase here. Now, if you scroll down, it says mobile home repair, mobile home roofing, roof coating, everything to do with mobile home roofs. Now, obviously, you need to pay close attention to these because some of these may not necessarily be related to your article content, but some of them are. So typically what I like to do is I like to download the ideas and we'll download it as a Excel spreadsheet. We'll save the file and then let's go ahead and open the file right now. So if we look for the keywords here, it's this one here. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete these so that you can, you're able to see everything clearly. And let's go ahead and maximize the screen a bit. All right. So as you can see here, obviously you have a lot of different keywords and we don't necessarily need to have all of these keywords, but typically I'll pick about a few of these, maybe 10 of these. And then I'll make sure that they're actually within side of my article content. Now, as you can see, it says mobile home, mobile home, mobile home. You have to be careful about repeating your keywords way too much. So what you want to do is you will probably want to go with roofing, roof coating, roof over, sealer, replacement, and the keyword that is all the way at the very end, such as repair, sealant, leak, repair, vents, you want to make sure that these words are within your article. And if these words are in your article, you actually have a better chance of ranking your article content. So if we go back to here, we can look at the article content and the keywords will actually be what we pulled just now. I would make sure that they're within your article content. It doesn't really matter where they are. It just matters that they're inside of your article content. And what I would do is I would create the article or you can even give it to an article writer and you can get a proofreader as well. So what I typically like to do is if you're on a time crunch and you have more money than time, then obviously you can go hire somebody. If you have more time and you don't have as much money and you're on a tight budget, then of course you will need to write the article yourself. But you can go to a site called fiverr.com and that is F I V E R R.com. And all you have to do is enter the service. So you can write in here proofreader. And once you have a good proofreader here, then you can actually get them to proofread for you. And this guy is actually a really, really good guy to go to. And if you go to article writer, and sometimes he's not available. So what I typically do is I like to go to up to 24 hours. So I, I typically like to find somebody who can do it quick. And then I, I look for the one who has the most reviews. And then of course you want to pay close attention to how many words that they will actually edit for you. So uh, most of them will only do 1000 words. So if your article is longer than that, you want to make sure that you find somebody like this who will edit up to 5,000 words, all right? Even 3,000 words here. But I would pay close attention to how many reviews that they have because I want somebody who is serious and I want somebody who can have a quick turnaround time. You can also type in the keyword article writer and same thing. Delivery time, I don't really mind too much about that, uh, but you'll have to log in to actually s buy from these people. But Typically, I like to do seller language is English. So I definitely want their first language to be English. So I want to check either one of these two. Level one or two are good sellers. That means that they have higher ratings. They have higher feedback. They have a good reputation. In that way, you get somebody like that. Typically, I'll find a few and I'll try to send it to a few of these. And I'll see which one has the best article. And then I'll stick with them. 
And then of course you can find a videographer to take that article and then maybe make something visual so that you can upload it to YouTube.